In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the difference between a business coach and a consultant. If you run a small business or any business at all, it doesn't have to be small, at some point you will have needed some help with that business and your friends will have likely told you to uh, go and speak to a coach or a consultant or get a mentor or go and seek some kind of advice. So what is it that a business coach does compared to uh, a, a consultant and then again compared to a mentor? Because the three things are actually completely different. So I'm gonna try and break it down and make it as simple as possible for you to understand what the difference is between the three of those so that you know exactly which one to choose for you and your business and why. Let's start off with a, uh, with a business coach. Um, so I'm a business coach, so it's nice and easy for me to try and explain that one. A coach won't necessarily um, get their hands dirty and do the work for you. So it won't be a done for you type thing. So let's say for example, if you are struggling with Facebook ads, a business coach won't get in there and do your Facebook ads for you. However, what they might do as a coach is help you to set goals. What is it that you want to achieve from your Facebook ads? How are you gonna measure the success of it? What are the challenges which you're gonna face in trying to run a successful Facebook ads campaign? They may be able to give you a bit of advice about some Facebook ads maybe which they've run or helped other clients uh, sort of um, uh, go through and tell you those sort of stories and analogies. Um, but they won't actually be setting up and doing the um, uh, Facebook ads directly for you. So they'll just help to motivate you to, to do the Facebook ads and work out what the objectives are in terms of doing that, that, that campaign. Whereas a consultant, a Facebook ads consultant, will uh, take your ads campaign off you, they'll get into Business Manager and they would actually set up the Facebook ads for you and tweak it and play around with it and they'd be on some kind of a retainer in order to do that. On the flip side of that, you've then also got a mentor which you can kind of throw into the mix. And a mentor is somebody who, it's it's likely that they will have had some kind of experience uh, in, your, in your business niche, in your area. Um, and maybe they're sort of uh, 10 years ahead of you. So they'll be able to tell you all of the pros and cons of whatever it is that you're about to embark on within your business. Um, again, they're not gonna get their hands dirty and actually do any work for you, but they'll be able to impart some of their experience through having run a business in your specific niche or sector. Also, like, you know, again, a lot of people get confused between a coach and a mentor. So I, I like to think of a mentor as somebody who has had experience in your very specific niche. So maybe they ran their own marketing business or maybe they ran their own uh, retail like shop or maybe they ran their own e-commerce business. So they've got experience in like your, your very specific um, vertical channel that you work within. Whereas a coach tends to not necessarily have the experience in a specific sector. They, they a business coach, for example, might have more broad experience across a range of different um, business types, but they don't necessarily have to be an expert in that specific business to be able to help motivate you and move you along. Whereas a consultant, again, a consultant's probably in the same sort of um, space as a mentor in terms of, they will have experience in a, in a very specific sort of vertical channel in terms of the work which they do. Also, another way to think of it as well is um, uh, between coaches versus consultants or business coach versus a business consultant um, would be to think of a, um, a, a consultant as somebody who is like uh, DFY, done for you services. They'll actually take whatever tasks off your desk and they will do it for you once they've helped you to create a strategy. Whereas a coach is what we call done with you, DWY. And done with you means that they're gonna sit down and kind of work through the problems with you. When you have problems, um, they'll talk about it with you and coach you through it. But it's gonna be up to you and your team um, to, to knuckle down and actually do the work. So there we go. So hopefully that's kind of um, cleared up the difference between a business coach versus a business consultant versus a business mentor because all three are ever so slightly different. They all bring extraordinary value to you and potentially to your business. And also you've got to think about um, how, how and why you might want to engage with each one of those. So if you're time strapped, for example, maybe a consultant might be great for you because they're gonna take work off your desk that you no longer need to do. So a consultant might be the right way to do. But if you have time, you just lack the expertise, then maybe a mentor or a business coach is gonna be better for you because maybe you're, um, you're interested to learn, you wanna know how to do this stuff for yourself, you wanna teach your, or get your team engaged and teach them how to do it and you've got the capacity. So you'll you take that advice, 
disseminate it to your team or get your coach to help you disseminate and train a team in order for them to be able to do it. And then away they go. But if you've got any questions about that, feel free to drop them into the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, just hit the little like button uh, underneath the video because it just helps other people to find it uh, and hopefully um, uh, learn about coaches, consultants and mentoring and things like that uh, and to be able to grow their business.